I've heard a little bit about this app called Hemingway, which allows you to essentially get the same features as Grammarly. But when we have Grammarly free and there are tons of other free apps like Quillbot, do you even need Hemingway? Like, is it even good? Let's check it out. So this is the interface. It visually looks pretty simple. I quite like it. There's even a desktop app apparently, but you can edit online as well on the browser. So just from their demo text, you can see what it can do. You know, it can highlight all the things that it can suggest or corrections that it has. And just like Grammarly, you can hover over those changes and do some of them. It doesn't seem to have rewriting capabilities like Grammarly actually gives you rewriting suggestions. This one probably doesn't, but I haven't tried the paid version of this thing yet. I use Grammarly Premium, but this is free now. And if I put the same text in Grammarly, you can see that some of the corrections are essentially the same. But this one does capture a few things that Grammarly doesn't. Like it's suggesting that I remove the word perhaps to sound more confident. Grammarly does do that sometimes, but it's not always accurate and it's not always on spot. It's always wise to use more than one tools, you know, refine it in one tool and put it in another tool to refine it even further. All these tools are great, but none of them are perfect, at least based on what I've seen so far. You can essentially achieve the same thing with Grammarly Free. So, you know, there is no real point in exclusively using Hemingway. However, if you're considering going paid, then they do have one thing that Grammarly doesn't seem to offer. Well, at least not in this way. Grammarly does have an integration with Microsoft Word, but I'm not sure if it works offline. Let me know if Grammarly works offline because I, I don't know. I have always used it online, but Hemingway has an editor that doesn't need internet, so you can use it offline too. Again, that comes with this purchase, I believe, you know, $19, which is really not bad. You can easily make that money back with any content writing gig. So if you are serious about using Hemingway, then I highly recommend this you know, paid plan. They seem to have integration directly with WordPress or Medium. So you can write something here and publish it directly. That may save some time if you're an author in those sites. Like if you have a WordPress website, publishing blogs through this might be easier. The free one doesn't really impress me that much, but the paid version for about $20, I think that's worth it. If I wasn't using Grammarly Premium already, then I would highly consider Hemingway app. That $20 might go a long way, especially with all the features it brings. But if you're just getting started and you just want to use free versions, yeah, use free versions of both. Use Grammarly free and Hemingway free. Although you may not find much difference between the two. So yeah, Quillbot free will do a much better job than just using Hemingway and Grammarly. You may get similar results with both. But I feel Grammarly's UI is a little bit more interactive, so that might still be better. This one surely is more affordable though, so you know, worth checking out.